हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ टेलीकॉम टेक इट इजी सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस आर वी सी सी एंड सी एस एफ बी के वॉट इज एस आर वी सी सी एग्जैक्टली एंड वॉट इज सी एस एफ बी एंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू थिंग्स सो लेट सी ओके ओके सो सी एस आर वी सी सी वेन वी सी एस आर वी सी सी राइट इट मीन्स सिंगल रेडियो वॉइस कॉल कनेक्टिविटी और कंटिन्यूटी सी वॉट दिस टर्म इम्प्लाइज दैट ऑब्वियसली विद दिस टर्म विद दिस डेफिनेशन यू माइट हैव गॉट एन आइडिया दैट दिस इज द कॉल कंटिन्यूटी राइट कॉल कंटिन्यूटी मीन सपोज वी आर गोइंग यू ई इज गोइंग विद अ वॉइस कॉल सो द कॉल विल रिमेन कॉन्टिन्यू नाउ इन वॉट कंडीशन इट विल रिमेन कॉन्टिन्यू इन वाई इट इज कॉल सो नाउ सी वॉट एपन्स दैट सिंगल रेडियो वॉइस कॉल कनेक्टिविटी वॉट एपन्स दैट वेन इन एल टी ई और वी कैन से फोर जी टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर वॉइस कॉल वी हैव टू प्रोविजन्स राइट वन इज सी एस एफ बी राइट सी एस एफ बी सर्किट स्विचड सर्किट स्विच फॉल बैक राइट एंड अनदर वन इज आई एम एस और वोल्टी ई राइट वॉट वी कॉल इट राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल फॉर आई एम एस लाइक आई पी मल्टी मीडिया सर्विसेज और वोल्टी ई कॉल राइट आई पी मल्टी मीडिया सर्विसेज दिस इज अ one entity right that is uh, required in 4g to do voice call right uh, multi multimedia services right so these two provisions are there through which we can make a voice call in 4g now how it works see what is csfb right csfb is that suppose my mobile is latched in 4g my ue is in 4g right and i want to make a voice call right then in that case what will happen that because in 4g right in 4g as such there is no voice call provisioning if there is no ims right what 4g means data right for data 4g is used for data if there is no volte or ims facility in 4g so what will happen then whenever a subscriber wants to do a voice call then either it will it will switch in 3G or 2G, like whichever is available, it will switch in 3G and 2G. Then it will do a voice call as a conventional method, like your mobile is already in 3G or 2G. So in the same, uh, in that way, it will do voice call. And the second way of a voice call in 4G is IMS, right? That is called VoLTE. So these two ways, right? So uh, now. what is srvcc what happens that suppose your mobile right ue is in 4g and you are going in a car right you are going in a car and you are having a conversation with any of your friend or uh, somebody through volte call you are in a volte call right and you are traveling in a car like this and at at this point of time suppose your 4g connection is lost so the connection is lost or the network is not there at this point of time then from here onwards what will happen then the same call will continue without disconnect without disconnect the same call will continue in 3g or 2g it is called srvcc right single radio voice call continuity okay and csfp case is different you know that there is uh, when when there is no srv cc facility in the network okay if there is no srv cc facility in the network then if you want to make a voice call and the mobile is in 4g then first it will switch back to 2g or 3g then it will 
make a voice call right so this is the difference between uh, srvcc and csfb got it fine now some important points that we have to remember regarding srvcc like how it is enabled in the network so for srvcc as you have already known that when we are having a call ims call we can say right we can say sorry if we are having any ims call in the network right all of a sudden our 4g network gets locked lost okay then it will continue here now two things uh, are here to remember that for you know srvcc depends upon that your network okay your network suppose you are using airtel network or idea network whatever network so it should enable the functionality like the network should enable srvcc in itself right this feature should be enabled in the network your ue must be capable of srvcc then only you can use this facility right now two things you should re always remember that uh, for to enable srvcc we need one interface between mme and msc and that interface is sv interface right this is one point you should remember it right for uh, there is a sv interface for srvcc to be successful or for uh, when we implement srvcc in the network then we implement sv interface between mme and msc because obviously you are in 4g and you want to you know hand over your call in 2g or 3g so obviously you have to talk with msc there has to be a uh, you know agreement between mme and msc obviously so for that sv interface is there and second point is that there is a server right call s c c a s that is server centralization and continuity application server right so this server has to be implemented in ims if we have to implement the feature of srvcc in network so these two things are mandatory for implementing srvcc in network right now uh, let's see an example right that uh, what happens there i have already uh, this given you uh, examples that uh, you know suppose a mobile ue is having a packet data call suppose we, he's he's not on voice call he's browsing something right he's browsing something and he is going there and srvcc network is not implemented in the net, in in a feature is not implemented in the network and somebody is on 4g data he's using data he's surfing youtube or web browsing something all of a sudden if 4g network is lost obviously it will switch to 2g or 3g whatever data speed they are getting but, but because data is data you know why it, it's not uh, it, it will not impact that much if it switches to 3g as well now suppose if uh, a voice call is there i have already explained you voice call is there in uh, 4g ims using and if the network is locked it will switch to 2g 3g without any uh, discontinuity the call will continue right if the network is lost so this is srvcc now what is the difference between these two csfb and srvcc right if we have to implemented csfb it means we will not make call setup using existing ims core and that would take care of that call in lte right so if uh, in respect to the srvcc assuming the backbone ims is available in this case if the register if the register in the ims is successful then the user do not do csfb if there is srvcc obviously there is no csfb 
right in the network now uh, one point we can remember that csfb is a service handover service handover means that we have our mobile in 4g and if we have to use i mean if, if the uh, we are using csfb feature then it will hand over the service service means the network it will hand over to 2g or 3g to make a voice call and srvcc is a call handover means it will hand over the call from 4g to 2g or 3g so this is the basic difference between csfb and srvcc now uh, we can see broadly how what is the call flow of srvcc okay what happens then uh, when there is a uh, srvcc call in message flow if we want to see it here then suppose this is a ue right this is a ue this is e node b e node b means 4g 4g node and suppose this is node b node b means 3g node right which is 3g bts this is mme this is ims this is msc right msc or umts can say core network umts core network means obviously switching network anyway now this ue right so suppose this ue is moving away from the 4g network right it is it, it it is having an ongoing volte call right and it is moving away from the 4g network and when the net 4g network is getting degraded right so uh, what it will do that it notifies right this e node b this e node b notifies the this ue will notify the ims right whenever the 4g network is getting degraded the ue will notify the ims that it is moving away from the lt network now the ims will take decision it take decision that whether i have to initiate you know, uh, srvcc or not right suppose if it takes a decision that no it has to initiate then it intimates mme and then mme contact the 3g core network right bearer setup for taking up the setting call and all uh, the, through sv interface that we can say through sv interface right it contacts the 3g uh, core network then after that all these this core network contacts e node b 4g e node b right hand over command and ue contacts 3g e node b and like this hand over is completed so this is this is these are the very brief steps like uh, a broad idea i am giving you that how it happens where the call goes from where okay so this call is shifted to this network 3g network like this it happens that how the call is uh, you know switched from 4g to 3g without getting breaked so that is called srvcc and uh, yeah that is srvcc and hope you are able to understand the difference between srvcc and uh, csfb so uh, let's see if you have any doubt or confusion you can uh, ask me in the 
uh, this chat box and then you can tell me if you have not understood anything or if you want any other clarification regarding this SRVCC or CSFB. Uh, next, uh, I will start uh, some 5G introduction sessions and uh, the basic details, uh, concepts of 5G in my from my next lecture. Uh, anyway, if you want a lecture on some uh, particular topic, then please let me know. Thank you very much.